Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, I will be telling you about the data action in SAP SAC planning. So this tutorial is mainly will be covering the features and options available in data action, and also I'll be going through some of the details in uh, SAC planning about these uh, steps like copy step and cross model step and allocation and embedded and currency conversion and also this advanced formula step you can see on the system that you know in the menu bar now if you can suppose i have opened a planning model here so this is my one test planning model and here if you want to make a planning step so then you can create on a copy button here you can see it is showing nicely here the copy step and you can write the name of the step and its description and then you have to type the filter filter as you know that filter is used what data the logic will be applied to similarly aggregation if you want to aggregate based on some dimension you can do that you can Choose the copy rule. Suppose you are copying data from 2023 to 2024, so you can copy, you can write that uh, rule, set the rule in copy rule, and you have option called overwrite or append. You can also do that. Next, it is nicely you can add other features. Like, let me just do that uh, if we just do like this. And it will keeps on adding all the process one by one. You can also use this undo button, so it will go back. Also, you can just click on the any step, and you can press on a delete button, and so that also delete one step. Next, coming to this uh, cross model copy. Cross model copy actually it copies from one model to another model, and your target model is always the model that you are working on and source model will be some other planning model suppose you want to copy one key figure from some other model other finance model then you can copy that particular uh, data into your model next coming to this allocation step allocation step is very important uh, before running this allocation step you need to create the allocation step separately like if you need to go there and you have an option called allocation and there you have to create the allocation step like uh, based on uh, what logic you know your data will be distributed so that logic you have to mention there then you'll set that step here and uh, like here you can you can get a message like data action step was created would you like to use existing allocation instead if you use existing then you click here and you can create a new one you can also have a uh, options to do this uh, right from in this uh, section as well so you have a allocation rule so here you need to define what is your the source dimension target dimension and so on so next coming to this uh, embed data action step so here uh, mainly uh, data action meaning that uh, you can embed some other data action from suppose you have multiple data action created for some reuse purpose so you can use any of the data action already created in this step Next is the currency conversion. So it is currently disabled because in my planning model, I don't have any currency related uh, information. So that's why it is disabled. But this step is used. Suppose from a particular measure, you want to convert the data into some other currencies. So in that cases, you can use this currency conversion and you need to define all the setting like currency conversion table and so on next coming to this one add advanced formula step so here 
this is the our pre-built feature as you can see that and now this is the formula step suppose you want to define any formula and which does not cover by the standard feature so you can write the script and also you can do uh, the visual uh, graphical view as well so in the graphical you can see that you have an option called uh, context so here you can add the filters and you can keep on adding the values or dimensions here but if you come into the script so if you don't want to do in the visual then you can completely write your code and scripting here in the script you can write the formula uh, about uh, how the data will be made so this is mainly the session for introduction to data action and in the coming uh, sessions so i will be covering more in detail like how to make a copy step cross model step and so on so thank you i hope uh, you have understood the basic of it thank you for watching